Okay, so here is a fun little project I've been working on for the past few days, and there is this big knob over the OLED display being driven by the Arduino. And I've tried to put the knob over the display as much as possible, but of course there were some technical difficulties because the base of the knob is of course blocking the way for the display. I could probably put the display closer to the knob if I would rotate it by 180 degrees, but it was affecting performance in a negative way. And the performance was probably the biggest problem with this project. I spent most of the time tweaking the code to get it some reasonable, smooth enough results. And I found out that anything above like 10 FPS is smooth on this OLED display, but I was getting like 7 or 8 FPS. It was very laggy. There wasn't that feeling of the knob like interfacing with the display itself. So I've changed my original design. There are less tick marks, you know, those small tick marks are only single pixels, not lines, but overall I'm pretty happy with the result. So again, I'm using Arduino, you know, to drive this 128 by 64 display, which is using the SSD 1309 chip, and this is a standard potentiometer. It's a very small potentiometer, but I'm using this big, or, you know, big knob over it. You can see it's just a standard small potentiometer with a very, very big knob, and I would probably prefer this to be without this you know, white arrow, but I still like the appearance of the knob. It's heavy because it's full metal. I really like it. I really like big knobs because, you know, interfacing with those, that's a nice thing to do. So here is a better view of the project. So this is, yeah, this is the Arduino Uno connected using the SPI connection to the display. And I'm using, I believe, pin A04, the potentiometer. You know, the wiring is kind of strange just because I could get this, you know, display close to the knob. And I'm using this kind of display so it gets you, you will get the you know a board with the display and the display is connected on the bottom of the board like so so just plug it into the connector and just move those gray sliders and and the display is usually glued to the board itself and in my case it was glued using the double-sided tape like you know piece of tape like so so i just unglue it using you know a little bit of force and then just move it to the, down like, like so and just you know what it likes like this just so it could be closer to the knob again if i would rotate this by 180 degrees i could move it probably you know much closer to the knob like like this but i didn't do that and that's pretty much it if you are interested in the code uh, it's down in the description if you open the link from the video description i'm using wofki website which is free online arduino emulator so you just click this play button i've already clicked this and you can use this project in your browser so you don't even have to have arduino by your hand you can test it and then upload it to arduino and you can see i have this small number in here which is for measuring the performance it's somewhere down in the code so you can comment it out for the final project and this is the measurement being done it's very simple like counting the milliseconds from the last time but uh, what i was what i found interesting is that those numbers kind of correspond with actual arduino so i also see like 10 fps on my arduino which is kind of cool so you can take this you know modify the code and, and upload it to arduino one thing to note i'm using you know this this actual uh, connection is using i square c connection using a4 and a5 pins so that's this line i'm actually for my project i'm using spi connection so i will just uncomment this line for my real arduino project or i would get the i square c display but the, the spi connection should be faster if you are interested in a full length tutorial please let me down in the comments i, I might record it in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.